Hello everyone and welcome to another Town Hall 10 Laloon episode. So unfortunately I wanted to record this war against Reddit Troopers and unfortunately I don't know what happened. Supercell decided doing a maintenance and they deleted all the replays. I didn't even watch myself all the replays. I didn't have time for it and mainly the reason for it is because it's my birthday today. So kind of bad timing and when I found time when I wanted to record Supercell did that this main maintenance so I didn't even watch all the attacks so you can see that we lost by a very small amount of stars to ready troopers this is what they've done to our bases and this is what we've done to their bases they had a pretty big advantage on the town hall tens they had three more town hall tens so I don't know what what it would look like if we had we and them had the same amount of town hall tents. Probably it would be more close. Maybe with with a chances for us to win this one. So we didn't use all of our attacks. We didn't use six town hall ten attacks, as you can see over here. So that's that's six town hall ten attacks, and unfortunately, su such thing happen when. Town Hall 9s don't scout fast enough on the Town Hall 10s. So Town Hall 10s know the traps locations and how to attack the base better. And this is the reason they're, they're not left with enough time to mess with, with the enemy Town Hall 10s. And this is the second time that it happens to us. And it's definitely something we were going to work about. And definitely we're going to improve. But I think that... It's a good score for us. I mean, Reddit Troopers are one of the best clans in the game. And we got into a very tight war with them. It was tight through almost the whole war. As far as I remember when I was checking from time to time. I, I wasn't in this war. I really don't have time right now for wars, unfortunately. And yeah, no replays. So not much I can do. I know I know there, there are many many attacks that were amazing and unfortunately I cannot show you that and I'm really sorry for that so let's go to the attack that I can show that I pre-recorded pre it's not from this war but let's go over the plan of this one so this is the base that's going to be attacked as you can see this guy put some new walls but didn't really decide where to put them in the base so he just throw them outside the base not the best, the best thing to do and those walls that definitely didn't help him to defend so the plan is gonna be very simple he's gonna go with the archer queen from this direction those walls are pretty much going to stop her from going into this area and she's gonna go through this area and pretty much clean everything on the way in the outer ring including one air defense next he's gonna send the barber king from this direction and with some wall breakers he, he's gonna get through the wall and delete those defenses and basically what's left is that area where he can send the lava hounds and balloons at those two air defenses and they're gonna go through the whole base so clearing the outer ring is helping the balloon stay inside the core of the base and not go outside it so you can leave this compartment alone and it's totally fine, although you can maybe use a P.E.K.K.A. and destroy it as well. But it doesn't really matter because this compartment is going to go down at the end. But but removing the outer ring is, is going to help you focus on the inside defenses like the X-Bows, like the Inferno Towers. So basically the balloons are going to go through, the, through this area and they're not going to start running into those areas or those areas or this one or this one they're not gonna run away over there and this will allow a smooth three star through the base from this direction so notice the air sweeper one is pointing over here and that that's a good decision going with the, with the archer queen from here and destroying this air defense this one over here and the second air sweeper is pointing into this direction and this is basically the reason why he's going from this direction with the lava hound attack he could as well go from here and go with the archer queen from here 
if the air sweeper was pointing, for example, into this direction, but you got to you got to decide the loon path depending on the air sweeper, especially if you cannot take it out with the archer queen or with the king. If you can take it out, it's even better. But usually, on good basis, people put the air sweeper inside the base in the core, so it's pretty hard taking it out and you gotta make sure that you're pathing your balloons the right way so you can get the base and not deal with the air sweeper so yeah let's see the attack so here goes the attack so he's dropping an archer on that building over there it's not covered by anything so it doesn't really matter and basically maybe it's gonna help a bit with the king direction but i don't think it's it's gonna do much so Quinn is in, he's using a giant for some shielding and of course the healers are gonna help save the queen through the whole base and it's kind of boring watching the queen just going, it wastes a lot of time of the attack and still this guy, th these guys are getting 3 star attacks even though the queen is taking out like I don't know, 30%, 40%, maybe half of the time of the attack easily. And the base is still getting 3 starred. And basically the reason for it is because balloons are going pretty fast with the rage and haste spell through the base. And once they're getting all of the defenses, only cleaning is left. If your heroes are staying alive as well, it's even better and gonna help the cleaning. So King is in, as you can see, he got through the first wall. Now he's going to use the ability, take out those three defenses. The dragon from the clan castle will take some time to get to the queen. There's pretty much nothing over there that, that can stop him in the location. So he's going to get rid of the king as you can see. And only now he's going to go to the queen. So he didn't use the ability yet. It's still available and it's definitely going to help him get that dragon and... And protect those balloons from the dragon. You gotta make sure that if there's a dragon in the clan castle, you gotta make sure that you are able to take it out, or it's gonna ruin your attack. And notice that he's dropping that air defense as well. I actually didn't even notice that when I watched it in the first time. I didn't notice that he did drop the second air defense as well. So the queen does an amazing job. She's getting two air defenses and I don't know, I haven't seen many bases, many Dragonflower bases that are putting their defenses with a bit more defense. And I don't know, I think people should try that. So yeah, hope you like it. If you did, like, subscribe and comment. And I'm gonna go celebrate my birthday or something. I don't know, we'll see. Bye-bye.